Today I'll be talking about creative writing and how to develop your stories. So you want to be a writer and you've been waiting for that day when the idea will come. Write it somewhere if you have to so you don't forget and explore and research on your idea. So once you're researching on it, you want to start thinking about themes you would like to talk about. Things that you're passionate about. Do you want to talk about health, love or death? And then you want to start thinking about, do you want to base your story on imaginary, which is fiction, or fact, which is non-fiction? Do you want to write a biography, memoir, or do you want to write poems, or historical fiction, or a drama? Now, there are lots of keys to creative writing. The ones that I will be talking about today are imaginations, observations, and language. Imaginations is about thinking, thinking about how the way, the way things are, how the world works around you, how things are around you. And observation is observing the natural settings, observing people, observing uh, a, an institution, how people are. You, yeah, This is how you generate your ideas, you generate your characters in order to write your story. And then you want to think about, in language, you want to think about the audience in your story form. The audience will determine the language that you're going to use. If you're writing for teens, you want to use vocabs that won't mislead them or sway them from your message. So you want to use enough that will convey your message. And then prompt. Prompt is about like having that many resources in order to add and connect and incorporate your ideas. And then there is one more thing, you can write from favorite or different perspective. And once you're writing your story and you and you're stuck somewhere, you want to maybe you want to start from writing from an antagonist point, uh, point of view or you want to start writing from another characters that you have. And when you are stuck, have an intention to to come back to your story take a break from your from your work uh, have some refreshment sleep but have that intention of coming back to your story in order to finish it and and this is and so you study and explore more and gain more ideas and more inspirations in order to add to your story and this this you don't have to follow each step like I like I explain it, it can, some people have know what they want, know the ties first before the idea come, and some people have explored first before the idea come or before they even know the things. So there is something called sharing. A lot of people are very good at writing. They are very good at artwork, but they do not like to share their story. I am part of it. I don't have that confidence to share my story. I don't trust enough people to share my story so but but now I've, I'm coming out and I've been sharing um, some of my work to, with my friends and my family and I've been getting a lot of feedback so once you start doing that you will get feedbacks from them and you will start getting ideas from them that you can even uh, good ideas that you can even incorporate to your story so this is explore and choose your team you um, use your keys as many keys as you would like and enjoy and enjoy your story enjoy your writing and thank you very much